A recent survey has said that over 60% of divorces are initiated by women during their menopause years, with it being a time of intense physiological and emotional change. It's not really surprising, with one expert recommending couples go for counselling to help men understand what women go through. So do you think this is something that would benefit men? I should uh, definitely say that I agree with that, but, um, only on the point that Rod and I have a very open uh, relationship when we discuss everything and, um, you know, if, if, I've, if I've got an issue going on, I'll be very honest with him and vice versa. And when, if, if Rod feels it's the time of year and he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders, things going on, and he talks to me about it. He goes, oh, I feel so much better now. I can get on with things. Yeah. So we're in that... Um, lucky position where it, you know, we're not split up by work commitments in one way or the other. We're together most of the time, so we get that opportunity to talk. And that's the biggest key, is to talk, I think, is yeah. to be able to share the problems but that you have. But would you talk about this? Because a lot of couples have yeah. a great relationship, but yeah. they don't talk about I know it's menopause. a personal area, but um, it's something that every couple goes through. Just because the woman is experiencing menopause mm. doesn't mean to say the husband's not being effective. Of course, I, I, I know that my mum and dad, after 25 years, split up, and one of the reasons could have been that she was going through her menopause at the time and my husband's like oh, what age was your mum going through the <laughs> menopause and I said, don't this worry is darling your screaming yes. and this and is it. well I'm uh, in general I'm a very easygoing person and I like to kind of keep the boat afloat make sure everyone's happy and organize everyone's a bit where they should be and mm. you know um, but it, the last six months I've been having the odd little time where I've, I've asked the kids twice to do something they haven't listened I've had to go will you listen to me mum is talking and I'm thinking oh, where did that come from it's like I've been taken over by some sort of strange devil and I'm like it's very un on uncharacteristic you. of myself yeah. so I thought I'm going to go to the doctor get some blood tests I don't know if I'm overthinking this thing how old are you if you don't if I'm you're... 44 okay. which is like, sort of tends to be a bit young for the menopause it could be perimenopausal could be peri mm. or could just be just the my pre my or fed know, up with your kids yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can kind of get more extreme, the side yeah, effects. Sure. So I wear a red bracelet, and then this might sound strange. It's just a little bit of cotton that I tie around my wrist, because if I say to my husband, look, I know there's a lot of decisions to be made as we just moved house and there's a lot of, mm. you know, things going on, but don't ask me right now because I've got my period. Two hours so later... you a red band for yeah, your period to yeah. say, I'm on my yeah. period? Two hours later, he'll come to me, look, darling, not about that, I don't agree. I said, hey! you go like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to keep explaining it. It's, it's very simple, you know, when it's, it's, it's probably one day a month that I'm just not... I know it's very Do you know, fun. I thought I Did heard it? everything. <laughs> I, I never... Where, where, it how did you come so up with well. that idea? I, it was just like, how can I... How can I raise that red flag know, oh, to say emergency, see, emergency? Because I say to Mark, when, because he still, after all these years of marriage, doesn't understand when there are hormones in the air, yeah. it's electric, how do you not know? I said, we're going to have to come to some sort of decision. We need a flag. I got you one. Look. Look. Oh. <laughs> well, no. Unfurl it. There I we go. No, that's not going to be any good. It would have to be. <laughs> With it. But it's interesting but, that you were saying, uh, Andrea, at the beginning that there's some recommendation that you go to counselling. Yeah. So, I mean, you and Rod, you're saying you've got a very good relationship, you talk about we're lucky things. we have our own counselling, but I would advise... But could you see the advantage of actually having another person that you could talk to? I mean, would yes. you go to counselling to discuss yes, this? Yes, I think, I think even if in a local community, if women got together, we go, you know, we go and exercise together, we have a coffee together, and if there was these groups, we could get together and talk about the menopause. But would you and Rod go to a counsellor to discuss? If, if, if as a couple, um, you know, we spent our lives apart and he was working all day and I, well, we didn't get that chance together, you know, come home and it's the kids and then it's too tired to go to bed. Mm. So if I was in a, a relationship where I didn't get that chance to have that conversation, I, I would definitely... Um, put ourselves forward to sitting Would down you? and having a doctor oh, being able to explain because mm. even all the symptoms of, of PMS or particularly um, menopause, it's uh, caused by a lot of the low testosterone, te uh, low oestrogen levels. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And um, that can cause all sorts of things from depression to low sex drive. And if you think of a man uh, suffering, he's thinking, oh, she doesn't want to have sex with me, she's not interested, she doesn't find me attractive anymore. But yeah. if he was told, actually, it's just one of these chemical imbalances that your wife's experiencing at this time, yeah. It's funny. And you'd be like relieved. Oh, it's that and it's not yeah. me.